Alright guys, it's the FCD Show Friday. This video was uploaded on... It was uploaded on April 28th, 2022. Again, I can't really say much besides... Oh, hey. Different background again. Uh, you know, as you're used, you're used to at this point. But, uh, yeah. I believe this is the last FF News video where this background isn't different like the next one that will be uploaded next week should be the fourth one which I'll get more about what the fourth one's gonna be later uh yeah so yeah well, without ado let's get into past me with the FF news three let's do it what is up guys it's your boy Ben here <clears throat> it's been a while fuckers and uh yeah now, I would have uh, came up with some excuse. Well, there is one for, like, a little bit of it. And that's because um, <clears throat> I got an Xbox, and you're going to see that later when I play uh, more SpongeBob. But, uh, and I was playing Uncharted 4 on my PlayStation, all four of them, trying to get through that. So I could use that to get the uh, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> but we're not going to worry about that, because I'm back now. A little while after this video, you'll see more Spongebob rehydrated and the rest of the Edge interviews so we're not even gonna worry about where I've been don't worry about that shit yeah so welcome back to FF news today we're gonna look at stories about you know <laughs> fucking condoms and some East and some uh and some Easter eggs we got fucking a pot lasagna and we got some lady trying to glue herself to a basketball court. Yeah. And also, um, just so you know, for the FF News, I'm only going to do it once a month now. Because, like, if I do it weekly, uh, what's going to end up happening is, like, I'm going to see the same stories come back and back and back. And I got to go really dig in versus, you know, now, for example, for these stories, I just found them like that. I can't fuck it up. Like that, you know what I'm saying? So... Let's get into it. Let's get to the intro and we'll get to some, uh, the, uh, NBA lady. Let's go. Ooh. Protester tries to glue herself to court during Clippers Timberwolves game. Animal activist Alicia, I'm not gonna try to pronounce her last name, tending as <laughs> hashtag uh, glue girl, laughed about her stunt afterwards, and even though <clears throat> she had a serious motive. Alright, let's get into it. When protesting, uh, the mass killings of chickens tried to glue herself to a basketball court Tuesday during a Playing game between yeah these these, these teams here. Like this video. Yeah, you know, let's watch this video. And... Anyway, yeah, trying to figure out what's going on. Try to glue. Yeah, basically, she just tried to glue herself to the floor because you know. Oh, there's even a tweet by someone was there. Hanging out with the glue girl, okay, you know, Alicia. Why did she super glue herself to the court at tonight's NBA game? Oh, I don't really, I'm not going to try to look into a tweet or whatever. But yeah. What the fucking? Yeah, dude, I'll remember that, dude. I just gotta, you want to... You wanna fight for your cause? You just gotta glue yourself to the fucking NBA floor. And also, uh, this was published April 13th. This happened like a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna think of a skip for that one, but I got nothing. Just, just, uh, I don't know. Just some, some, some woman just going. And I got home. Sorry if I offend vegans out there with the old chicken shit, I don't know. But just fucking, just going. I hate that these people are doing this. You know, I gotta go to an NBA game 
right now. I'm gonna glue myself to the floor so people will know. And they just fucking brush it off. And just fuck out, get it the fuck out of here. All right, let's get to the next story. Oh, um, <clears throat> I don't know why I brushed this story so fast, but I also forgot to say she was wearing it once at Glenn Tyler Roast and it was alive to protect, <laughs> to protect, uh, yeah, to protect the mass killings amid a flu outbreak <clears throat> on the Timberwoods owner, Glenn Tyler's egg farm, according to release. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Now, now we'll go to the next story. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Easter. Oh God, Easter Bunny, fucking hands out Easter eggs stuffed with condoms at Texas Elementary School. Oh, this is at a school. <laughs> That's even worse. I didn't know it was at a school. <clears throat> the fuck? Not sure. This is the Austin weird I signed up for. <laughs> Uh, this was April 19th. A parent just as the Easter Bunny inadvertently handed out colorful eggs stuffed with condoms at an elementary school in Austin last week. Most of the eggs were filled with candy, but a handful contained packages of condoms. Okay, well, hey, look at the bright side, guys. At least it wasn't fucking used. All right, there we go. It's think I'm sick. Oh, this is Texas. Isn't it? One of the fathers took trust because the incident <clears throat> where he said, A parent showed up at my kid's elementary school just Easter morning during pickup. He handed out eggs, mostly filled with candy, some with unopened condoms. Not sure if this is the Austin weird I signed up for. <laughs> That's where that came from. Yeah, okay, yeah. one of the parents who works at a pharmacy have been dressed as the Easter Bunny for a safe sex presentation at the arena clerk. Okay, so it was an accident, which is good. Sprouts own handed out the eggs full of candy. When she ran out, she asked her husband to get more, and he apparently brought back some bad eggs. And then chaos ensued. Oh, God. Viewing the safety protocols. Okay, oh, God. Not only is it against the law, it's disgusting. <laughs> okay, yeah, fuck it, whatever. George Bush over there, whatever. I'll hold this school district accountable for their failures to protect our kids. Protect the kids. Okay, there's one thing. I'm not defending what happened, but it was an accident. And it was unopened condoms. Granted, it was an elementary school. That was bad. Yeah, that's that's bad. Don't think I'm supporting this. Don't fucking... That's bad. Alright, that's bad. Well, like, protect the kids. From what? They don't. They probably don't even know what that is. They're probably going... What is this? And the parents will probably just go. The dad's in there. Oh, I guess the Easter Bunny can't read this shit. <laughs> I can imagine some dad, one of the dads, who found it funny. I feel like one of the dads, uh, they're just like, looks over at their wife. Well, at least the Easter Bunny didn't work out for the kids, but uh, we, 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 the Easter Bunny gave us something. We're going to... So, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's continue with the story. One parent told Bush that he sh should should have read more about the incident before, yeah, blowing up. Yeah, because he didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know it was an accident. Yeah, please do not be a part of the fair, right, Miss Farm, blah, 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 whatever. We don't get into that type of shit here. And that should that's the end of the story. <laughs> But yeah, again, some dude was just probably like, but yeah, which again, I, hey, there we go. This story wasn't as fucking weird as I thought it was. I just read the title and went, oh, this one wasn't as bad, guys, all right? We'll put it that way. Sure, it was giving condoms to kids, but, you know, they're, they're learning. They're learning beforehand. They're learning about sex. Even though it's supposed to be for some other, other teenagers or something, but yeah. <laughs> And of course, that was his Texas, which will gotta lead us back to, which is near Florida, which will lead us down to Florida for this next story. Yeah. Don't give uh, second graders condoms, kids. Don't do that. Well, don't give kids con fucking own. Or I don't even know the best. I don't know. Just skip to Florida. 
<clears throat> All right, come on. You knew we got to go to Florida, but this time it's not a Florida man. It's a Florida bride caterer arrested after pot, pot lasagna allegedly sickens wedding guests. All right. They do are facing multiple charges, including tampering, uh, negligence, and delivery of marijuana. All right. Don't worry about this. Add in. A Florida bride and her caterer were arrested on Monday. For allegedly lacing food with marijuana during a wedding last February. The story was published uh, last week. The bride named Dea and her caterer. I, I can't pronounce shit, alright? <laughs> Listen. I can't pronounce names, so we don't talk about it, alright? Both facing charge for tampering and yeah, blah, 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 yeah. The, the caterer. Describes itself as a six oh, chef. <clears throat> no, this is great. The wedding, which had attended about oh shit, four to thirty guests, took place at the Springs Club. Whatever, I don't give a shit. When deputies were called to the scene, they spoke to the male guest who reportedly requested an ambulance because he was feeling weird and said he felt like he had drugs inside of him. So everyone, attendees were transferred to local hospitals. Sickness and feel. If, and uh, feelings of being high slash stoned. Authorities call. <laughs> oh God, this is great. Collect the multiple items ceremonies, including shop covered strawberries, bread, cookies, brownies, pudding shots, and a handful of lasagna. The police reported the lasagna and the piece of bread tested positive for THC. And the two had turned themselves into the authorities. Well then. I feel like, um, <clears throat> you know, that would have been great if, like, the guests knew about it. <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, I know a few people that would love to do that at their wedding, but, like, you know, as long as they tell the guest, hey, guys, there's a, there's a wee inside the bread, inside the lasagna, enjoy. Also, why lasagna? Like, there's cookies and brownies and shit there, too. You could have just thought it with that. No, 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 no. They, they, they planned ahead. They're like, ah, they're not going to suspect like brownies or cookies. They might suspect that. But lasagna? No, no, no. They'll never suspect that. All right. Well, I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the next FF News won't be released till the end of May. And uh, yeah, so this was a great s stories for today. Really good woman uh, <laughs> gluing herself to the NBA court just because some dude that owns the team just killed chickens because they were sick and didn't want to get other other chickens sick and infect the f whatever. And uh, some dad getting lucky because uh, their kids brought home a con for him. And then, uh, and uh, Florida people getting high off the of lasagna. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <clears throat> Stay tuned. A SpongeBob video will be out soon. And Ed Sheeran Divide album. Review. That should be out soon. And possibly more stuff. I don't know yet. <clears throat> but this is the Fat Man signing out. Peace. Alright. That was FF News 3. Pretty wacky. Fuck. Lady gluing herself to a court. Condoms at Easter. And fucking stoned lasagna pretty good episode uh now next week the fourth video the fourth and last video of the ff news videos will, will be uploaded and then after that i'll start doing the people at walmart video which those videos are quality is going to be awful i do know that so i'll warn you that about that later but yeah and the next video the, for the finale of the ff news videos will have sebastian in there if you know him from the F, the first appearance you'll see of sebastian on this channel yeah, you'll see him do shit here. And then next week I'll go more about like what uh what I'm gonna do from there. Like what they have I'll give you like the whole schedule, the FF news videos. Or not the FF news, the F C D show videos, because I'm done with those now. I just did the finale over there not that long ago, so yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Fridays for now is gonna be FF news or the FCD show videos that I'm just going to take from one place and put them over here. I'm not deleting the channel or anything over there. I just want to have them at two places because why not? 
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the NFL video that just came out not that long ago. That's the Fat Man signing out. Peace.